Hello students, my name is Dr. Praveen Tripathi. I'm a faculty of psychiatry. And in this video, I want to talk about this new exam. Uh, all of you are aware that AIMS announced about the INI CET, Institutes of National Importance Combined Entrance Test. Uh, the test that would replace AIMS exam, PJ exam, JIPMER exam and NIMHANS exam, all the big premium institutions of our country. Now, uh, once this announcement was made, the reaction of the students was quite unexpected lines. Uh, most of the students did not like it. Uh, some, some expressed surprise, others expressed anxiety and some expressed panic. And it is not unexpected, right? Uh, whenever an announcement of this scale is made, our first response tends to be, a, to, to be an emotional response. Uh, in fact, in fact uh, uh, now, now we know that uh, in such situations, our emotional mind is the first to react. And the good thing about emotional mind is it, it responds immediately. But the problem with the emotional mind is that it does not take into account the entire picture. So your first reaction is coming from the emotional brain. But let us not use emotional brain to analyze a situation because emotional brain is not capable of you know deep analysis. That work is done by the other part of your brain which we call as rational brain. Now to use rational brain and to come to a conclusion, let us ask three questions to ourselves. The first question is, what could be the potential advantages of this new pattern? The second question would be, what could be the potential disadvantages of this new pattern? And the third and the most important, what can I do about it and what should I do about it? Let's, let's uh, talk about all these questions one by one. Uh, let's start with the first one. Is it possible that there are some advantages as a student, is it possible that you would get benefited by this by this announcement? Uh, I can think of multiple reasons why this development is actually a good development. Now, uh, I'll, I'll put forward uh, my opinion on this. I think one of the good things that might happen is uh, that most of the students, I think, I think more than 95% of the students anyhow prepare keeping the NEAT pattern and the AIMS pattern in mind. And this exam would be conducted by AIMS only. So now whatever they have prepared and, and the thought process with which they were preparing, it is kind of in sync with all the exams that they would be appearing for. Uh, to elaborate on that, earlier we had this PGI exam, we had this JIPMER exam and we had NIMHAS exam. Now if you think about the JIPMER exam, uh, JIPMER has always been a very strange exam. Uh, I could never understand what, what, what is the thought process of people who uh, set up the JIPMER exam. The questions are strange, uh, at times they are extremely difficult and uh, you know, preparing for JIPMER per se uh, had always been a difficult task. Similarly, PGI, PGI pattern is not so deviant but again uh, the uh, PGI examiners had their own favorite topics and somebody who has been preparing primarily for NEET or AIMS would at times struggle with the PGI question, questions. And when it comes to NIMHANS, of course, all of you know that NIMHANS is too high on everything neuro, neuroanatomy, neurophysiology, psychiatry, all those things. So many times it happened that uh, people who were preparing with AIMS and uh, uh, NEET in mind, uh, they could not perform as well in the PGI exam, JIPMER exam or NIMHANS exam. Now that thing is gone. If you are preparing with AIMS and uh, NEET in mind, which probably you are, now you have a fair chance of getting into these three institutes too. So the number of seats that are available to you, especially in the central institutes, the, the big institutes, now that goes up. So I think that's a welcome development. Secondly, think about uh, the logistics. Now all these exams are you know, quite close to each other. The amount of time you waste in the pre-exam anxiety going and taking the exam and you know recuperating from that getting back to the studies all that time would now get saved in case of pgi the the trouble of coming to chandigarh and taking that exam now you you don't have to go through that so logistically you would be saving a lot of time you don't have to worry about so many exams and because of the logistic issues many students would not even appear for jipmer or nimhans or even pgi now, you know, those students who could not even appear for those exams, for them it's a welcome news. So, that is another good thing. And I would also say, 
uh, that uh, even for those students who were who were kind of you know uh, aiming for PGI or they were aiming for NIMHANS, now they might be feeling a bit bad because you know now that 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 supposed edge is taken uh, is gone. But think about it in another way. If you had been preparing with just PGI in mind, again you might have struggled with the aims or with the need pattern. If you had studied with only NIMHANS in mind, you might have you know struggled with the other examination. Now it's a level playing field. Even for you, the number of seats available has gone up. So it's a win-win situation. So I can think of many reasons why this might actually be a good development. Coming to the second question, what could be the potential disadvantages? Now the biggest disadvantage is again uh, we do not like changes. Anyways, this this year. Uh, is quite full of anxiety and we do not want new things to happen which increases our anxiety that the biggest disadvantage is you might be feeling slightly more anxious right and it's a fair point uh, one month before examination if something new happens you are likely to be more anxious but you have to tell yourself that something new is not equivalent to something bad new things are not always bad and I think in this case, this is precisely what is happening. It's a new development. It's an unexpected development, but I don't think it's necessarily a bad development. And when you start having all those thoughts, negative thoughts, uh, anxiety uh, provoking thoughts, you, you should tell yourself that, you yeah, it's, it's something new. It is for everybody, but it might not be really that bad. Coming to the third and the most important question, what can you do about it? And what should you do about it? So. We can have two different kinds of responses to this situation. The first could be we go into panic mode. We, we start saying stuff like uh, this is unfair. Government should not do this. AIM should not do this. It always happens with me. Even in school it happened with me. Even in college it happened with me. Every time I prepare for exam something changes. We can say all these things. And when we, we say when we say all these things, when we allow all these thoughts to come in our mind, what happens is we feel anxious. We don't feel like studying. We waste our time. And most importantly, we cannot do anything about it, right? No matter how angry you get, no matter how depressed you get, no matter how disgusted you get, it would not change a thing. So what can we do about it? Practically nothing. So what should we do about it? We should use the second response. The second response is, yes, a change has happened. Uh, we do not know what are the details. But it appears that it might have some pros also. It appears prima facie that pros are more than cons. And most importantly, I cannot do much about it. So let us not freak out. Let me not freak out. Let me not get too anxious. Most importantly, let me not waste precious time. You know, these three, four, five days, if, if you waste them, uh, again, it matters a lot. It's, it's a race. Unfortunately, it's a race. You are competing with other students. In comparison with a student who is keeping a cool mind, a cool head, uh, if you start wasting time, you, you are at loss in, in comparison to that student. So rather than going for this panicky and anxiety uh, 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 driven response, let's, let's take a more mature uh, response here. Let's tell us that we cannot do much about it and it appears to be, uh, it, it appears to have some advantages too. And let us not allow the rhythm of our study to get broken. This is the most important thing. These things do happen. They are beyond our control. What is in our control is to keep a cool head. Uh, what is in our control is not to allow our preparation to get derailed. What is in our hand is to ensure that we do not waste time. So in the end, all I want to say is uh, something new has happened. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Please don't lose your sleep over it. It probably will work in your favor and uh, continue studying. That is the only thing that will help you. Uh, no amount of uh, posting comments on Facebook or tagging faculties or sending messages to faculties is going to help. So do what you know will work. Uh, I want to wish all of you the best of luck. I hope all of you do great. I hope all of you get the colleges of your dreams and uh, God bless you.